Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to do a proper combined arm assault. We have a tank platoon as well as two infantry and they are being provided cover with heavy artillery or mortar squads. And let's get right into it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of combined arms. And if this video is helpful, leave a like as always and make sure you subscribe. So let's get to talking about it. Alright guys, so the number one rule when assaulting a village, especially with tanks, is send infantry in first. But what you're seeing here is our, our artillery, which they're providing cover fire for our tanks. So both our tanks and our platoons can assault the village under cover. So, the reason we're going to discuss why you need to send infantry into the village first. So during this next phase of the assault, we have our infantry following our tanks. This is to provide our infantry with cover as they cross this wide open field. Yes, we do have artillery bombarding the village, but our infantry still needs to make it to the edge of the village so they can assault it with as many men as possible. So if they come under fire, they will have tanks to provide them with cover. So one thing you're going to notice is every time the artillery fires or the cannons fire, our infantry are going to go prone. This is to protect themselves from any sort of shrapnel and to take cover from any incoming fire. Because they don't know exactly where the mortars are coming from. They could be coming out of the town at them. They aren't really sure who's in the town. During this phase of combat, I needed to readjust our fire from our artilleries to deeper inside of the village. They've essentially destroyed the whole village in front, as well as a bunch of houses, and pushed the enemy back deeper into the village. This is going to allow our infantry to enter the village uncontested and assault it. So this is why I love combined arms attacks, because you're about to see my recon unit start laying smoke down and my infantry push into the village being concealed. It was one of the best moments. So simple, but just look, there it is, like that recon unit has begun laying smoke for our infantry so they can enter the village safely and attack any enemies that are still, that may still be in cover in that position. So even though our infantry made it to the village and the village has been leveled by all the artillery fire, you still want to send your infantry into the village first. Because if you send your tanks into the village, they're going to be destroyed by any enemies or any remnants with frag grenades, um, incendiary grenades. So here I send our infantry in and I still I move the artillery fire further up to continue to suppress the enemy so our tanks can advance into the village next. So even though there was all this heavy fire going on, our infantry still come under attack from all sorts of leftover enemy remnants. As you can see, they're still getting mortared, just danger, danger close. But they're still going prone and they're still fighting. They have the advantage, cover, and concealment. But the enemy, this is why you need to always do a combined arms attack. Is the enemy just going to destroy your infantry, your tanks, because you're the ones who are at a disadvantage. You have to attack them, they're deep, they're embedded, and if you allow a front line to form, all your units are going to get just dug in and slowly become the battle of attrition.
So even after all of that heavy artillery fire, tank fire, our two platoons are still up against an impressive enemy force. So they just begin going prone, um, trying to eliminate who they can, what they can, and slowly they begin making ground, covering each other, popping smoke. It was just one of the most intense battles I've ever seen in a long time, especially in gravity. So even though we suffered heavy casualties, our infantry were able to do their job and secure the village for our tanks. And we lost almost zero tanks. I think one of our tanks took heavy damage. So what would have made this assault better is if we would have brought a flanking infantry unit, either from the left or the right, or the west side of the village, to push the infantry into the enemy into the border zone. Because what we have here is just it turned we allowed a front line to form and when that happens it just it just becomes a battle of attrition our tanks start taking damage our infantry start dying so one of the last things i want to say is when it comes to a combined arms assault is you want to avoid the formation of a front line and i know i've said this several times it's when you attack a village, your infantry always need to go in first, under cover, either concealment or mortar fire. Because the second you send your tanks in first, they're all going to get destroyed. And then your infantry are going to go in next, and they're going to get eliminated. And it's just not going to turn out well at all for you. So when conducting combined arms attack, just remember, suppressive fire from artillery, infantry in next, try to come in from two different flanks and then send your artillery or recon or your tanks and recon units in next. Anyway, like, subscribe if you watch this far. Hey, check out the shorts by the way.